Hello AP people! So sending you this with all the warm uh, warmth and love in the world from the global office. Um, I'm sending you this to have a small discussion about like 100 slash zero. I know you guys are currently going all around your regional conferences. You just finished an operation summit um, over at Nepal. So big shout out to all my peeps on MC of Nepal. Um, and when we come to look at where we currently are as an organization, I have a couple of questions to ask you guys. If we think that looking at AP as a scope, the region that hosts 60% of the population of young people around the world. 60% of the world's youth population is in AP. That's massive. That's a huge opportunity. That's an opportunity not to only put AP at the forefront of being the biggest region in ISEC. I remember while I was growing up through, uh, through my LC experience, when I was LCP, the first region I thought of going to was Asia Pacific. And I went back then to AP unless it was in Vietnam in 2012. And it was the first conference I ever went to abroad. And in my mind, my conviction was, I need to go to AP to learn. I need to go to AP to learn how can I do more and better. But if we look at our current moment, are we doing more and better? If we look at that concept of 100 slash zero, 100% 100 responsibility, zero excuses, are we holding ourselves up to that standard? Are we holding ourselves up to a standard through which I am willing to stretch myself and fail in the process, but at the same time, willing to hold myself accountable to that. That is the beauty of how AP always has been. It has been the region that's always capable of stretching itself to the maximum, so the whole world can learn from it. It's always been the region through which you can find the most disruptive of innovations coming from, with always uh, the top achievers when it comes to innovation, and innovation awards in each and every single Congress are coming usually from Asia Pacific. And the world is usually observing to learn. Where are we at this current moment? Are we still holding ourselves up to that kind of standard? Or did we maybe drift apart at some point in time? I fundamentally believe that AP has what it takes to go back to being that giant that is capable of innovating and teaching the whole network something. That is capable of not only learning through doing, but learning with the network and making it progress to places that it has never imagined before. The solutions do not exist over here. The solutions exist from those sparks of innovation that exist with you guys. But you need to make that conscious decision every single day. It's not a historical heritage where we look back at what we were, what we were capable of doing. It's a decision you need to make every day. If you want to put AP on the forefront in that kind of manner and put AP out there for the world as a standard and a set example. I believe that this current generation of Isaacers in Asia Pacific has the capacity to make that happen. But do you believe? Do you believe you can be those Isaacers that are the role model for all the other Isaacers? So, big shout out to you guys. I hope you guys can be 100 slash zero every single day of your term. Peak is around the corner. Keep it real.